The goal is to show the public and builders that uh, a solar-powered home can happen right now. Buildings consume, in the United States, 40% of our energy. So that's why it's important for these buildings to develop. It won't be adopted if it doesn't look like a home. So the goal was to be able to place this in any neighborhood in this area and have it really blend in. This looks like a house. So it's a great size, very low maintenance home, and there's tons of space. And this house is net zero. Over the course of the year, it produces as much power as the, the uh, homeowner uses. Everything's commercially available, and this is uh, uh, the washer and dryer can actually talk to each other. So they have a wire. When the washer gets done, it tells the dryer how much, uh, how much energy it really needs to use to dry the clothes. And so things like that, where you, the user doesn't have to involve themselves, and in the end, you get a really well-performing home. We have a system in the home called the biowall. When the air is running, it draws air across the plants and through the roots and then into the ductwork, and the plants are actually filtering the air. It's a big campus, and it takes a lot to communicate between all these different people, uh, but it's, it's worked out really well, and we have a lot of talent across campus, and we want to tap into that. I went to Australia on a study abroad program. I, I never been to a place that didn't have a resource, and they really didn't have water. Uh, that really just made an impact on myself and I realized that's going to happen in the future more and more. I love uh, this technology that's going into the home and what's going to happen in the next few years, but also there's a lot of room for improvement and I want to be on the forefront of that in the future.